This is John Paul Rye coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. Today, I want to talk about Tokyo, Japan, actually. And I want to talk about the marketing for the Rise of Skywalker in Japan. Now, for Solo, I had the time to go around Tokyo. Not everywhere, it's a very large city. But I tried to find Solo advertisements, and I found about three posters, four posters. got a really old video on it. And I had a chance to go out and look for some Rise of Skywalker promotion. And I didn't find too much. I found some, but it wasn't everywhere. It wasn't like all over. It wasn't like something you'd expect for such a big movie event for the final installment of the Star Wars saga, if you want to call it that. We'll get into that some other time. So, what I did find was kind of strange, and I kind of had a little problem. So, I went to a sushi restaurant to eat with my family, and they're having a Rise of Skywalker promotion. It is a pretty big chain of sushi restaurants in Japan, but, you know, a sushi restaurant promotion isn't like the biggest, best promotion you want for the Rise of Skywalker. Now, they have like these little toys that come down from like the slot machine, and my son won a Rise of Skywalker toy. Now, first of all, I was really like nervous he was gonna get Rose or Ray, because you know, I don't want to explain to my son, like, look, daddy really doesn't like these characters, and I don't think you could keep that, we're gonna have to throw that in the garbage, and I'll buy you something new, but he got Finn, and I don't have a problem with Finn, but what he got was crap, it was, it was really trashy, it was like this, not even a figure, not even like a little rubber Finn, or a little plastic action figure or something, it was a Finn sticker on this, like, little plastic piece, that's it. So it was like the crappiest promotion I've ever seen. Like that's what kids are getting? My son took one look at it and he just handed it to me. That's the kind of thing you want to give away for the Rise of Skywalker to get kids interested? Is like a sticker on a piece of plastic? Seems like the effort is really low here. Now for more detail, I was in what I believe is about the third or fourth largest city in Japan. It's called Ikebukuro, and there are a couple larger I know, but it's, it's pretty damn big. As you can see from my video of it, it's a crowded town, it's no small town, and I was having trouble finding the promotion. Now they did have a TV screen that plays in front of the train station where hundreds of people see. I guess every minute, as you can see from the video, people walking by, and they did have like a 10 second Rise of Skywalker TV spot, but aside from that in the sushi restaurant, I didn't find much. Okay, there was a store that was selling like um, Star Wars stuff, but it wasn't really like promo for the movie. They happened to have like Disney trilogy Star Wars stuff. But the point being that the marketing for Rise of Skywalker is very low. Yeah, I messed up. I said Walker or something. All right, anyway, so. Like I said, pretty disappointing. Now I'm starting to ramble just a little bit. I also want to get into this article here. Not a full article, but it's about somebody who obviously likes the Disney trilogy, and they're kind of bragging that in Japan that the Rise of Skywalker is being promoted at Kabuki. Now Kabuki is like this traditional Japanese theater play thing that like nobody goes to anymore if you're like 25, 30 years old into movies and comics and stuff like that. It's really for like, you know, just the person who happens to have it as a hobby or old people. So, you know, this, this thing here was kind of annoying to me. Let me read it. Disney Japan, in collaboration with the Ichikawa family, has created a kabuki play called The Three Shining Swords. The show revolves on the love, pain, and suffering that the Skywalker family has felt in the majority of Star Wars films and projects more than 40 years. So, they claim that this is some great Rise of Skywalker promotion, and not really. Anyway, I'm doing shout-outs, special thanks, things like that. Getting loud in here, but it's the end of the video. Click that subscribe button. I'm rushing. I'm out. See you next time. If you are not subscribed to this channel, The Entertainment Hacker, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button now.